What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Medicom Toys Mafex Avengers Infinity War Doctor Strange. Here we have Doctor Strange posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through what he comes with. Doctor Strange does come with two different head sculpts. We do get the neutral expression which does look good. Then we do get an angry expression which also looks really nice. He does come with a variety of hands. We do get a pair of relaxed hands. We get a pair of fists. We get a pair of fists for the magical effects. We get a pair of hands with sling rings on them. We do get a pair of grip hands. We do get two pairs of magic casting hands. We do have one where his fingers are closed together. And then we do have a set where his fingers are pointing out. We also do have splayed open hands which look really nice. And then we have splayed open hands for the mandalas. He also does come with two mandalas which look really nice as well as two adjacent forearm pieces for those. He comes with a larger mandala effect which that is really nice. I do like the detail work in that. He does come with two pairs of the time stone effect pieces which do go on his arms really nicely. We do get his mystical wraps that he did use against Thanos, those look really good. We do get his fiery sword effect, which that also looks really nice, I do like it. We do get the cloak of levitation, which looks really nice, I love the fabric and detailing on that. Then he does come with two versions of the Eye of Agamotto, we do come with the sealed version. And we come with the open version. His final accessory is the multi-arm effect piece and that looks fantastic. Wonderful piece to have on this figure. Other than that, Doctor Strange here doesn't come with anything else. I don't know what more you would want to have on him. He comes with quite a bit and I do like that. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually have a closer look at Doctor Strange. And so here we have a closer look at Doctor Strange and I think Mafex has done a really good job with this figure now. It's not the best likeness that we've seen out of Mafex. I still think that Robert Downey Jr. is leagues above this one but this is still pretty good likeness to Benedict Cumberbatch now. It's not 100% spot on but it does look like the actor from most angles so really good job there. I do like the fact that they did pepper his hair right there. You can see he does have this the white streaks in his hair which do look really nice i do like it i do like the fact that his goatee is visibly noticeable unlike on some of the hasbro figures where his goatee was a little bit light this one you can obviously tell he has his goatee and i think they did a really good job there so as far as the rest of the figure goes there is a lot to talk about especially in terms of interchangeable parts and mix and matching for starters i do have him with his robes here now the robes do look really nice and you do get two different sets of his robes we do get the one that i have him on right now and then we do get this second one where you can see it has some peg holes that's going to be for the cloak of levitation that actually does peg in and you have to take the robes that he's wearing off and then switch those out so i do like the fact that they did incorporate that without c compromising the cloak of levitation then to get the multi-arm magical effect piece you can see there is a seam line back here now it is a little bit noticeable especially because i already popped mine off but you basically take the little tool that they provide peel this off attach the new piece which if i can just get it off camera really fast you're going to attach this piece onto his back and then you're going to attach the multi-arm pieces right here. It does peg in really nicely and it does provide a really nice effect so I do like that. So as far as the rest of the figure goes and I do have them like this just so it's easier to go over the detailing. I do like the fact that this figure looks very good. I do love the fact that we got two different blues on this character. We have the lighter blue on the outside of the robe and then some detailing and then the darker robes look really nice and I kind of do wish that this pegged in a little bit better. It pegged in fine until I pull it off so yeah that is going to be an issue unfortunately and I do like the subtle shading that Mafex did here you can see the darker blues going with the more neutral blues I do like the darker blue sleeves right there 
Then we go on to his wraps where you can see multicolored wraps, absolutely fantastic. And one little detail I do like is that all these wraps are textured. They have different texturing on them and they just look good overall. I love the way they came out. And then we can look at this side, it's the exact same thing. I kind of wish that they had scarred up his hands just a little bit, just to, to add a little bit of flair to it, because he does have pretty normal looking hands, that is a little bit unfortunate. So going on to the rest of his uh, garb, you can see his belts with a lot of good detailing here. I absolutely love the way it looks. We have the leather wraps, we have some straps going around it coming down to here we have some silver bands going to the back we have some more of those silver loops and some tassels right here and then he also does have a sling ring right here now something I did notice is that this sling ring it is removable and it's not that it was glued on this is actually a piece that can come off so when you have him displayed with the sling ring you can take this piece off and it replicates him actually taking it off. That is such an insane detail. That's something I would never have even thought about. But Mafex actually did that here on this figure. And it does peg on really nicely. You can see it doesn't fall off when you shake the figure. Now, yeah, if you get it caught on something or you press a little too hard, it'll stick to your finger. But it's a really nice little detail that they did include. Fantastic detail right there. Then we do have his robes which come down. I do like the fact that the robes are very soft. They get out of the way. They're not soft goods, but the material they're made out of, they allow for movement. So yeah, you can see how flexible they are. And he does have an inner robe too. You can see that there are two robes. We have his outer robe and his inner robe. So that looks really nice. And yes, they do get out of the way nicely. The cuts are exactly where you need them to be. So they don't hinder any articulation. Going on to his pants, you can see he is wearing the blue, dark blue pants, which you can see they did highlight some of the shading on it a little bit. It could have been a little bit better up here because it's really dark here at his knees. I'm guessing they thought that they would have it like this all the time and that would cover it up. And then we go on to his boots, which again, really good detailing on the boots. We have the tassels right here, the wraps, the lacing going all the way up to the top really do like the way it came out they did a fantastic job just sculpting and detailing dr strange all around especially right here in the feet even the bottom of his feet the, they actually textured his shoes that is a phenomenal little detail so overall i'm just blown away by the amount of effort mafix put into this figure it is miles above other Doctor Strange figures which we have had a look at but then again that was Hasbro and I honestly feel like this Doctor Strange beats out anything that Figure Arts has put out so yeah very good Doctor Strange here so with that out of the way guys let's actually get Doctor Strange compared to other figures you may have in your collection here we have Doctor Strange posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman here we have Doctor Strange posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure in a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Doctor Strange posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger in a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for a final comparison, here we do have the Mafex Doctor Strange posed next to the No Way Home Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to his articulation. Now, Doctor Strange does have a double ball joint here in the head, which that works really nicely. I do like that. It does provide some really nice up and downward movement as well as some nice tilt. Does turn left and right. Then we do have another ball joint here at his neck, which does let him look down even further and look up even nicer. So I do like that. And it does provide some really nice head tilt, so really good range there. He does have a ball jointed butterfly joint and what I mean by that is you can see it does pivot forward, it does pivot back, but it also pivots down so I do like that. It's actually a ball joint like down here, maybe underneath the armpit which does allow for that joint to move around really nicely so I do like it. Then we have a ball joint here at the shoulder so that does allow it to pivot down, pivot up, pivot forward and back. It does go all the way around no problem goes out to the side quite a bit I do like that 
we have a bicep swivel right here at the shoulder unfortunately it's not here but it is nicely hidden so I do like that then we do have a double bend uh, is it a double bend and no it's just a single bend but we do get some pretty good range there and it does rotate at that joint as well so he has a hidden shoulder joint right here and then elbow swivel so that is really impressive getting his arm situated we do have a ball hinge here at the wrist which does provide in and out and up and down movement depending on how you have that joint and then it does rotate really nicely we do have a ball joint here at the abdomen which does provide some really good range but he does gap up quite a bit so do be careful in how you have him posed it's not the end of the world but yeah you will notice some gaps in some posing so I do like that uh, it appears to be a double ball joint here at his abdomen so it's just the double ball joint connecting the abdomen to his waist so that's pretty much everything you need right there and it might actually be two separate ball joints because yeah it is two separate ball joints we do have one right here then we have a second one right here so yeah really good range there on Doctor Strange legs do kick forward to about right there they kick back I believe they are yes they are on that drop down hinge so those do move nicely going out to the side yeah, fairly nicely but you can see his robes will push his legs back in unfortunately though they are soft they will still push his legs in so do be aware of that we do have a thigh swivel up high single bend here at the knee uh, no rotation then we do have a ball joint here at the ankle it's just a true ball joint so it does pivot forward and back tilt side to side rotates um, really good range but I would have preferred a ball hinge then we have a toe joint here so overall Doctor Strange has some pretty good articulation I do like it you can get him in a lot of good poses so with that out of the way guys let's actually get Doctor Strange pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the Mayfix Doctor Strange pose for my final thoughts and overall this is a fantastic figure Mayfix absolutely 100% knocked it out of the park with Doctor Strange I was a little bit worried about how the hands would connect I thought we would get two versions of the cloak of levitation but instead we only get one and I do like the way they implemented magnets into this the top arms as you can see go over the, clo the cloak and the lower arms go inside very smart decisions here and I absolutely love all the accessories Doctor Strange comes with they absolutely work with the figure and he is an absolute blast to display I love the way this figure came out Doctor Strange is one of my favorite MCU characters and this figure Ooh, this figure is just fantastic the detailing on him is superb I love the cloak of levitation it is such a nice fabric cape the detailing on it is very impressive and then Doctor Strange the detailing on him is just as impressive there's so much to like about this figure and I can't find too many flaws with this figure maybe the likeness to Benedict Cumberbatch is really weak compared to something we saw like with Robert Downey Jr but overall I really can't say that's a negative about the figure I think this works for what it is and the Mayfix Doctor Strange by far is the best one 12th Doctor Strange we will get from any MCU film now the only downside to this actual figure is the price point if you did get them domestically you are looking at hundred and fifty dollars for this figure if you got him imported you're looking at about a hundred dollars plus shipping so that would be about hundred and twenty dollars this figure is quite a pretty penny to spend but honestly I think he's absolutely worth it the amount of accessories you get are spot on and I do like what he comes with overall if you can get this Doctor Strange I really recommend you do so he is up for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store or available on Hobby Link Japan so if you are looking for the figure go pick him up there so with that being said guys I'm King of Dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Mayfix videos hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you'd like to see me review let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection I'll gladly have a look at it while you add it check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video until next time guys I'll see you later take care everyone